Nunca deixes que a tua vontade de ser bem sucedido destrua a tua capacidade de expressares o teu amor pelo que fazes. Don't you ever let your desire to be successful destroy your ability to express your love for what you do. My mother told me this phrase almost five years ago over the phone. I was in Moscow, Russia. She was in Lisbon, Portugal. I couldn't immediately understand what she meant, but after a few days of profound reflection upon my past, I finally did. It was a true epiphany for me. I guess what she meant was that it's not enough to be passionate about something if you don't do it with passion. And my realizing of this would change the way I live my life forever. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a basketball player. I still do anyway, just don't tell anyone. <laughs> I took it really seriously. I would play all the time. I played for my school teams, and I would play even when I shouldn't be playing and should be doing homework or something else. And life went on, and I kept playing and grew up and kept playing. But one thing remained the same, though, was how nervous I felt during games. You see, I wanted to be a great player. I wanted to be one of those guys that people come talk to after games saying, ah, oh, man, I, well, that was amazing. How did you make that shot? But that never really happened. I just, I would freeze every time. I would, all I could think about was, you know, don't pass the ball to their team or, or don't miss that shot or don't lose the ball. So I would probably play at maybe, say, 30% of my ability, and I couldn't, never really understand why. So when I turned 19, I just quit basketball, only to dedicate myself to my other big childhood passion, music. I started to study music from scratch at that age, and so I knew I had a lot to catch up. So I put all my body and soul into it, and things started to really work out for me to the point that at the age of 26, I was on the verge of being accepted at the Gnesian Academy of Music in Moscow, one of the most prestigious classical music schools in the world. And you know, it's really interesting because I don't think my passion for music was, was less than my passion for basketball. It's probably even greater. And yet, that same good old feeling kept haunting me before and during every concert and every audition. How nervous I felt. I wanted to be a great musician, and I wanted people to be amazed at my music. And that feeling was eating me up inside five years ago, one month before my entrance exam in Moscow. I was desperate. I felt like I couldn't do it. I would probably make a fool out of myself in front of all those people and in front of those legendary teachers during the exam. But then one night, I decided to vent with my mother. I told her all I felt, told her all my fears. And she said, I understand how you feel, but don't you ever let your desire to be successful destroy your ability to express your love for music. And then it hit me. That's why I couldn't play basketball all those years all along, because I was too busy trying to be successful at it, instead of just enjoying playing it. You see, it's very easy to love something, but it's also very easy to forget that we love it. And I was passionate about basketball, all right, but I never really played it with passion. My ego and my hunger for success destroyed me every time. But fortunately, I was able to understand it just in time to make it up for, with, for it with my music. And you know, ever since, being good at what I do, to me, is, is all about just having a great time doing it. Now, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, as they say, to be good at something. I'm sure you all know that. But that's where the passion has to come in. It has to be a seed that you plant right there from the beginning. You have to plant it in your preparation. If you love something, you have to put all your passion into the way you prepare so that 
when the time comes to go out there and do whatever it is that you want to do, all that passion will just unveil itself naturally, unconditionally. You know what, my, what, what, what I realized after my mother told me that phrase? I realized that I needed to practice putting my ego aside. Because a lot of times we feel like we're passionate about something, and so what we have to do is just, we're just going to do it. A lot of passion is going to be great. But that's just not the way it goes. A lot of times our head gets in the way. A lot of things, extra passion, get in the way. And so we need to practice putting our ego to the side. We need to practice unleashing our passion. Because that's what happens when you put your ego to the side. Your, your passion is able to, to come out. You make way for it to come out. And thus, your creativity can be cultivated. And so I just I realized this, and I, I just decided to go out there every single day but until the day of my exam and practice my repertoire, play it for someone else, for someone new, every single day. I would just go around campus. I'd see someone and say, hey, you want to hear me playing? Come on, of course you do. Shut up. Sit down. Listen to me. And I would just play. I would put my pride on the line every time. And you know, it really hurt. It really hurts, because what I felt is I'm going to make a fool out of myself again today, and again tomorrow, and again. But what happened was that when the time of the exam came, there was no more room to be a fool, but only to be at peace and to play with a lot of joy and certainly with a lot of passion. Because I realized that it was not I that mattered anymore. It was what I was doing. It was my music that mattered. So if you ever feel like you're not being able to do whatever it is that you're passionate about, just remember, don't you ever, don't you ever let your desire to be successful destroy your ability to express your love for what you do. Thank you.